What's going on guys, still here. And uh, yesterday I hit 6,000 subscribers. So first of all, thank you to everybody who subscribed recently and whoever was the, the person to trip it to 6K. Uh, I appreciate you. Uh, this is like probably my sixth time trying to record this. So I'm gonna shorten this up, at least try to, without rambling on, I don't have much time uh, to deal with this. So uh, yeah, uh, what was I gonna start off with? So uh, first things first, the main thing why I wanted to make this video uh, was to um, ask everybody a question uh, and that was having to do with this channel and possibly starting a new one. Um, so I'll kind of go into it here for a minute, but uh, I've played War Thunder for literally a decade at this point and uh, it's nobody's fault other than my own for not trying to grow my channel more and learn tricks and stuff like that to grow the channel. I I don't knock anybody else for surpassing me, and I'm and I'm obviously I'm knocking myself here uh, for not doing better. Uh, but uh, a lot of people I've seen uh, grow recently, and they've become partnered, and they got um, like CC uh, not CC status. They've gotten partnership status, and they have ads and all that stuff. And they, for the most part, I would say that they can actually make content on the game every day, like get online, play a couple hours, throw it in an editor or something. Um, and they can live comfortably playing War Thunder. I don't mean the real economic situation. I'm not calling anybody out in particular here, by the way. I'm not, not calling anybody out in the first place. I'm just saying um, that I've had a channel for such a long time now, and I never really grew it probably when it was very important to. Um, so the the effort that I put in versus the, the feedback I get out to me isn't really worth it necessarily, if that's the way to, to put it. Um, I know it's not healthy to compare yourself to other people, uh, but in the YouTube space, I feel like it, the internet is a little bit more of a selfish space than people really give it props for, because it's either you or you don't get a following, you know? Um, and like I said, it's nobody's fault other than my own. I don't expect anybody's pity. I only expect just kind of to see where I'm coming from here for a lot of my reasoning. Um, but yeah, like it's, uh... Like getting, like I don't get anything other than on the auto rentals list still for event vehicles for some reason. Um, but I got deactivated since I wasn't making content. Uh, if you saw my video a couple months back, um, why I don't enjoy War Thunder anymore, I still stand by a lot of those statements. Uh, I think personally, in terms of like content creation, um, having to like play War Thunder, uh, some sometimes it's just it's not that enjoyable. Like. Uh, without going again on too much of a tangent here for like the seventh time, uh, the top tier premium problem in War Thunder and like the event vehicles and all that stuff has really created, as well as the game being larger than it ever has, uh, this weird environment where there's so many, don't, don't mean to be mean here, but just bad people. In my old video I said retarded, but, and I still stand by that, it's pretty brutish, but... Um, P like the for instance, I'll give an example. When back in the day, getting an F eighty six Saber or a Mig fifteen was like the pinnacle of the game. Um, they had the best cockpit modeling at the time, which by today's standards they're terrible. Uh, but there was like a sense of reward. Um, and now I feel like that I don't really get that anymore. Like researching a top tier vehicle is just oh, another RP sync that I spent hours of my life trying to get for very marginal gain. Um, and I feel like that goes for a lot of people the longer they play the game. But uh, that's just me. Um, but back in the day, the knowledge like of playing the F-80 and the MiG-9, for instance, they were good early jets because it learned how to teach you energy management different from late war props would had instant gratification in terms of like you throw it to 100% power, you get 100% power. Uh, so there was like a, definitely a d different learning curve back in the day. But now it pretty much requires you to have information and knowledge on how infrared missiles work, radar missiles work, how laser rangefinders work, how APDS works. There's so much information. And I feel like as War Thunder has gotten more mainstream and the fact that people can pay their way to the really advanced stuff, it's created a very toxic player base. Maybe not in the most like directly like in chat people being mean to each other, but I feel like it's it's... The War Thunder player base, like, the quality of player and, like, the match experience has degraded over time um, because so many new people that are just ignorant of how things work. I don't mean to say they're... I don't mean, I, I don't mean to be mean. 
Um, but it's just they don't know how things work in the game, and it takes a very long time to learn those things. Like Seeker, uh, Seeker Head, and and like Jube and Jake, they've all. I I don't actually know if Jube's made one directly, but like Jake and Seeker Head have made I think multiple videos on how radar missiles or infrared missiles work. And while they do get a lot of views and stuff, there's so many people that still just don't understand. It. Like I'll give an old example. The J-35A premium came out, and somebody in my match was asking why their missiles wouldn't fire at their radar targets because he just didn't understand that he was using an early AIM-9B. Like, it, you know what I mean? Like, there's just it just weird examples like that. Like, I don't mean to put anybody down, but without getting on it too much longer, just the overall quality of the player base because of top-tier premiums and all this, these other bullshit things has really degraded the quality of the game, in my opinion. And when it comes to like patch week and stuff, to try and make content on new uh, or videos on new content, it's such a pain in the ass because it's just the the games are just not enjoyable. Patch week and patch day have always had a problem with War Thunder. I won't I won't pretend that it, it didn't. Um, but like the overall quality and experience, in my opinion, of the gameplay loop that War Thunder offers has gotten just to be dog shit, and it makes part it partly makes playing the game more frustrating. Um, when your team just gets evaporated in, in 30 seconds. Like, that's just not fun. It, it's hard to get content when you just constantly get reamed because you're playing a tank of a certain nation at a certain BR, and it's not worth playing because literally the matches don't last long enough to make a quality video on it. Um, so uh, stuff like that, like reviewing stuff, I'm kind of sick and tired of trying to do, to be honest. Uh, I did want to switch to maybe some more long-for content, like the video I'm working on talking about some... Uh, new game modes and stuff for ground or new new ways to like structure certain maps and stuff i'd like to do more stuff like that um uh, but without maybe going on uh too many other tangents and i'm leaving a lot of information out here because i don't want this to be super long uh i decided because of a lot of the reasons i i just try to give if you understand what i'm talking about um i uh i thought about maybe making a second channel here, uh, I just, unfortunately, I don't have the time to make a lot of content, uh, a lot of content that takes time, real proper time to edit. So I thought about making a second channel under the name Real Free Automatic, which is my War Thunder in-game name, and just doing common, uh, no, no commentary, just gameplay of like a tank match or ARB match or something like that. Yeah, I thought about just doing that pretty much, and that would be my channel, but unfortunately... That would take a long time to grow, and I would have to continue to make content on this channel um, in order to promote that one. So being without like CC status and like getting help with certain things would maybe be a pain in the ass when it comes to maybe f featuring new content. Um, but I feel like it would be able to like kind of start clean and fresh here for the channel, um, and it would be just a little bit neater. Like my this 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 account this channel I've had hundreds of videos and um they're all kind of all over the place and it's i feel like i would maybe want to delete or unlist a lot of them that i feel like it doesn't really vibe with what i want and change maybe this channel's name to just real free automatic so i just use the same account um i'm not really sure uh but uh that was what i wanted to get into and mainly ask you guys which is uh, what you think about that um should i just start a new channel and just start from scratch uh, or should I just change this one? Because, I mean, I have 6,000 subscribers, but, I mean, I haven't checked my analytics, but I don't, not all, obviously not all 6,000 of those are super active. Um, so, and, like, the way YouTube's changed over time as well with, like, the notification bell and all that stuff, I've never really asked people to, like, like and subscribe until a couple of recent videos, which does help with growth, I did notice. So, I don't really know. I'm just at a weird spot. I've found, like, other hobbies in real life as well. Um, like I moved out last summer. I don't even remember if I just said that in this recording. Um, but I, I moved out last summer. I got a motorcycle. I enjoy doing things outside of just playing War Thunder. I kind of realized one day I'm like, you know, sitting inside when it's really nice outside and playing video games is really not fun anymore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't enjoy it. And the frustrations there, even if I'm just playing video games just to chill out, like I, some, I just don't really enjoy it all the time anymore, especially during the, the nicer months. So that was part of the reason why I wasn't making a lot of content uh, last last summer and then like the fall. Um, so yeah, my I mean my priorities have just shifted a little bit here. Um, 
but I, I would still like to at least maybe take a chance with YouTube, but it's such a difficult decision now with just how long it's taken me to even, I mean, I haven't even hit 10,000 subscribers yet, and I know people who are hitting 10K within a year, a year and a half, so, and I've been doing this for, for years, so that's kind of where I'm at. Like I said, I don't need anybody's pity or sympathy, and I'm not trying to call anybody out or be mean in particular. I'm just saying that in terms of my uh, my status and what I'm dealing with in, in life, it's like it's just a weird situation for me. So, yeah, I just I would appreciate it. Maybe I'll do a community poll directly or just maybe here on this video um, to see what you guys think uh, about it, see whether... I just start a new channel or I just change up this one now because I'm kind of uh, sick of the steel moniker. Um, I don't know. It just feels weird. I would rather just do something funny like real free automatic or something. Or, yeah, I don't know. I, I just figure something else out here. But, yeah, just let me know in the comments uh, what you guys think uh, about maybe just doing a new channel that's only War Thunder content. Cause like I've always tried to be maybe like on the Milsim side, but I never find the time or the patience or the friend groups to, to play other Milsims like Arma or like Postscriptum and stuff. I don't really enjoy those games that much anymore. Like they're, and they're not even like crazy games anymore that people are all hyped about. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I feel like I'm just, I've always still just been a War Thunder main channel. So, yeah, I guess maybe I'll put a couple options in, in a comment here and uh, I'll see or I'll do a community poll or something like that. Um, but, yeah, without rambling on too much longer, I need to get going here. So if you guys understood what I was trying to say in this video, I definitely tried to shorten it up. There were some other things I was kind of going on about uh, that I left out of here. So it might see uh, seem jumbled and, and, and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, basically all I just want to ask is... Um, because like I said here, like how I perceive War Thunder and whether I really enjoy it that much anymore. Um, whether you guys would just see, because I think it would be easier on me personally just to make solid, um, just solid gameplay, just no commentary gameplay videos. I think that would be the easiest thing for me um, and just do it from there and probably just do it on a new channel fresh just to organize it, I guess. But uh, yeah, anyways. Without talking too much longer, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of you who have subscribed recently and, and uh, those of you that have stuck around for so long with me. I do appreciate it. It means a lot. Uh, but yeah, anyways, check the comments. I'll probably leave a comment note. Appreciate you. See you guys later. Thank you.